Good afternoon, everyone. The United Kingdom and I hope all Security Council members strongly condemn the latest provocation by North Korea. Uh, this intercontinental ballistic missile test uh, is a provocative act and another very serious violation of a series of Security Council resolutions, uh, which threatens an ever greater number of countries directly. So what do we do? First of all, we must make sure that we fully implement the existing sanctions which are in place against DPRK. And let's face it, not every country is doing that. If they were, it would be much harder for the DPRK to have these sorts of technical breakthroughs. Uh, but thirdly, uh, we need to go further. Uh, and by further, I mean more names, more entities, more targeting, and if necessary, more sectors. So more names and more entities means uh, using the existing sanctions regime to designate those who are breaching that regime. Uh, and more targeting means looking at sectors where there are already sanctions uh, and tightening loopholes so that uh, DPRK is less able to get away with these provocative acts in the future. And is UK on for freeze for freeze? Well, freeze for freeze makes it sound as though the two freezes are symmetrical, and they're not, because DPRK is engaged in illegal, provocative activity that goes against a series of Security Council resolutions, whereas uh, South Korea, the United States, and others are not doing those things. Well, I very much hope so. As I said at the very beginning, the United Kingdom strongly condemns uh, this test, and I very much hope that all council members will be able to do so as well. Yes. Have you seen a statement yet? A draft? No. Ambassador, do you have any list of names of entities or individuals? And is this a message to China, since China is the main partner of North Korea? Well, we've been working very constructively with China, and indeed all of our Security Council colleagues, on this issue for, for months and indeed years now, and we look forward to continuing that cooperation. They have a particular responsibility as presidency this month, of course, uh, but I think that uh, uh, their mood too will uh, be that this cannot go on uh, as, as, as it has been and that we need to tighten things up. Uh, well, we'll be talking to our colleagues about the detail. Yeah. Do you expect the six party talks to resume? Well, only when the conditions are met and they're not met yet. Well, the figures that, that China uh, submits every month uh, do tend to go up and down. I, I'm not sure where that figure comes from, but clearly we call on all of our uh, colleagues, not just on the Council, but in, uh, all, all members of the United Nations to implement fully uh, all Security Council resolutions, as is their obligation, uh, and to tighten up the existing regime. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks,